So I'm in the bulrushes. Manchester UK, brief video of the time with Stephen Goddard. So the culverted section, as I said, just hits the motorway there. You don't get a boat underneath anymore. So I think what's happened here, and as I say, it's on Wikipedia, this is where the old part of Hayward Canal was. Now, if you're pretty smart, you'll work it out like I have. This is the original canal. So I can see in the substrate, I'm just down by the side of it, in the old area in the middle of a field next to the motorway, now chopped off. Culberted. So back in the 70s, they've said, no, no, just chuck everything in that we knocked down, which is there in the rubble. And they literally have smashed whatever's here, the mill to pieces, whatever it is. Thrown it all in. And then just built the motorway straight through, boom, and put a tunnel in. Tube, basically. Then the enthusiasts have come along and said, that's not very nice. What are we going to do now? The motorway's in the way. It ramps up over there. So, we put another section of canal in. So this, what we just saw on the other side, is a newly built section to reopen the canal. But this is the original canal, culverted here. It'll channel through there, go under the motorway, and then as you've seen, it, it's full on the other side of the motorway, and it rejoins. So the water's actually coming this way, even though the whole canal system's filled up on the other side, and the boats can float. This is the original canal, and you can see what. But it's important that they kept this section there, because you couldn't just do away with it. You won't be able to reattach it at the other end, I don't think. Anyway, it's best it's kept because the water flows this way, it's downhill, isn't it? Might be a case that that's like a couple of metres higher on the other side. So that's more like a reservoir, and this is the flow of water. So that explains it. Most people think that that bent round into Haywood and it's cut off there. There's a swing bridge there. No, I was right. I always am right. <laughs> anyway, I'm only saying that as a bit of fun because I like to suss things out, break it down, go back. I started to study this canal from 1775 and I've actually seen the plans put forward. Mr Jessup was actually refused by the, of all people, our people, Manchester Berry Bolton Canal Company were the only people who complained about it because it was their rival, basically. Um, there was a lot of complaints about us taking water over in Berry from the uh, well, but it wasn't a problem in the end. It's like, we've seen how it works. But this one munches up loads of water and there's none left for Manchester so they put a petition in against it but people were wealthy enough and it opened in the end so there you go that's why that's concreted underneath an old probably a railway bridge so they followed they've dug it out a brand new channel you can see it's steel and that iron as well at the sides yeah so that explains the modern bit that explains why I'm here Stephen got out in the middle of nowhere filming half a motorway. I've got to go across my little floaty bridge. Um, there's another sign there, goes into the old farm. Private land do not enter, you don't just you can't you just ignore that. Not saying I'll go over there raving, hundreds of us. If you want to have a go and have a film, I just have. It's not it's not, private, it's not actually private land. You can't go and build a house on it. But you, you can't start your walk across it. I'm not going into it anyway. Also, still all part of Middleton Moor. I remember I said it's got more moor on than Bury. Anyone from Bury will see what I mean. And it's just moor everywhere. It's not sort of Middleton, Castleton. We're not far from Haywood and Rapstar. I can get one bus all the way home from here. It's probably the closest point to the infrastructure where I can do that. So I'm going to have to pop back through the little bridge and get some more footage and I think we'll call it a day here. If I notice a head of reservoir, we will get footage of the head of reservoir. But as for now, the farm went off in that direction. And obviously their farm, that's a farm bridge now is. Since time began, since the first person was intelligent enough to realise to light a fire, say. So the first dinosaur that was roaming around, you know, fighting with dinosaur. Water has been by our side the whole way. 
it's not strange that we find artifacts at the side of rivers, you know, people, but it's just always been there, so it's next to us now. Never far away from the story of humanity, water. So, dog making sense now, let's piece puzzles together. Um, Maidenfold Farm is in this area. Anyway, Trub Road. It's near Haywood, as I said before. I also said, this is a crazy little bridge. Or a cool little bridge, or an unusual little bridge, but it's still genius. Underneath, the canal company don't have lots of money. They've got a grant from the lottery and they've done their best. That is their solution. I bet they've chopped half a barge up whatever, just to get it going, because it, then it, it's a narrow canal then, just get a boat through. Obviously people have to walk through with it, so you can't just open the canalways, in a sense that it's just water. There we go, there's, um, if we can get it in time. The railway just disappearing. tried to get a railway disappearing there. So not only so this is a new section, the canal did go along down there. So it's higher up so they've got a bit more potential energy in it. I'm sure they know what they're doing. The canal society are probably just like me, they love it and sussed it all out. And down there is a guy I don't know if you can see that guy but it flows underneath the canal. Okay, more modern culverts, but they've, they've been there, you know, as long as the canals have. So the so we, I'm going to not talk as we get some noise from the motorway. This is Trub, a place called Trub, Trub Road, and that'll be Trub Brook, I am sure, that's running underneath the canal, which will maybe enter the canal on that side, where the old bit was that I told you. So it'll be down there somewhere, underneath the motorway, or in that culvert down there. Too noisy to talk. Once again, we find it juxtaposed. As I walk through around the quirky tunnel, Manchester, which I do find rather quirky, isn't it? Quite fun, isn't it? But in a way, like I'm waiting to go on the um, fun house in the grease moving. As I am now walking on this with my magic. And there's a little kid determined to get on this and the motorway is drowning them out. It's perfect timing. I will actually be able to just turn the volume down on all that. Me talking now of it, so what will happen there? So we just had a section, I'll explain because I've told you about Thomas Edison in the past. The sound peaked, not where he was going. Kids did a scream down the um under the tunnel, like they do. But I think he did it on purpose, but it was rather loud. And I'm trying to talk and narrate on my feet and all that. And we got a sound anomaly. So what I did there we just stop talking for a minute. I can then dub that little bit of sound with just running water. That's what I love about the uh, recording process. Favourite part about physics, being able to... You actually record in time. And he's using all the correct terms, so I do believe him. So, 
like any scientist or anyone who discovers anything, I think they have. Don't like to be wrong, but he's lived in the area all his life, he's a few years older than me. I don't want to say how old. He's not an old man yet. But he says that's a culvert. Now, obviously, that wouldn't be a culvert because there'd be no railway. But he says it filled. There's a big site in there of uh, mills and everything. Still got my suspicions, by the way. But he says, so the initial swing bridge is underneath the motorway. That is the original canal, as I thought. So I've got that bit right. The section disappears under the motorway, and this is newer. But it says the swing bridge is there. But if you see there, right in the middle, that looks like a post, and the bridge could swing. Now, where it would swing to, I don't know, but it's like boats to prove, you see. So you could walk across on the other side, a person or a horse or whatever. And then when the boat needs to come into the main canal here, you swing the bridge out of the way, you see. So it's sideways. And that, that, them two openings on either side of that are exactly the same size as the canal bars. I know they are. You know, like the floating bridge we went over. So, anyway, got a good explanation now, don't we, Mr. Jessup? All the canals. So we're at the Rochdale section now, just before Castleton. Castleton. I nearly said Castlefield, it's not. Sorry if I've said Castlefield before. I've really enjoyed today. Um, full day shoot. Have they mentioned anything about going dark? Anything like that? I've said that before. Because when I come here next time, I'll find the next point to take off from. You know, where to start filming again. And it just makes sense. It'll be morning next time. And obviously this section. Spent most of the day here. So, Manchester, UK. Stephen Goddard, brief videos of time. It's getting a bit of peaceful. Peacefulness, eh? at Manchester, hope you're enjoying the journey. So that is the Rochdale to Manchester Canal. Uh, there's two branch lines apparently. Now that person there is on about canal branch lines. He also said the culvert, he didn't just say the tunnel. So he knows he's into it a little bit, he knows what he's saying. He knows he, so I believe him about the bridge there. I managed to suss out that bit by myself. Just set the water every 200 metres out. Anyway, so let's go and find it, eh? Let's go and find the actual pipe where we can swing bridges. But the railway's right. Oh, by the way, yeah, when he said branch line, I wasn't sure if he meant the railway. So there's a branch there, there's Manchester, he said there's two branch lines. If not, that means there's two canals, two branches of the canal. So we'll find out. I'd, they'd have to be owned by two different companies. Or I've got a lot of studying to do. Still convinced that that's a different channel to Hayward. Just that it adds up with the farm. But he said the motorway goes through just before. And the farm is on the other side of the motorway. And obviously the motorway weren't there, so there's no point of reference there at all. All that was here is the canal, probably surrounded by fields. Industry revolution starts, mills go up, don't they? So the old village will be surrounded by modern mills that are passed down. Lots of land that is now up for caravan sites and things like that because that was mill sites. This was just smashed to pieces and filled in with whatever. And this is a new section when they've... I think it's gone in. I think they must have done a deal when they built the motorway maybe. A few things like that because that's the same build as the motorway, that concrete. Matches. You know, most of the, well, the Manchester sections, the M60 ring road. So the M62, M66, it's all linked in. And you see, you know, it's very common like that. Hmm, very interesting. But yeah, that, that looks like the older canal still, doesn't it? 
and that size is modern, so it might it is definitely rechannel, but we don't know why. That was something to do with the swing bridge. I'll investigate that and we know where we're up to, so there's no mistakes. That's the most important thing. usual flip around. Hello oh, people, how are we doing? Really just enjoying myself. So now this is what I call scouting. Got some information off local residents. The noise goes up. So I'm going to carry on scouting. But we end here. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it by going under this bridge and 